Hello guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we installed the bootstrap CSS and we created header and footer partials in for our course project. Now in this lecture, we will add user model using device. Okay, since we already installed the device gem into a Rails project, so now we just need to install the device initializer and we need to create a device user model. Okay, so first we will install the device initializer. So switch to the terminal and uh, uh, just shut down your rail server and here what we need to do to install the device so rails g device colon install okay this will install the device in your project okay and here you can also see some setup option for the device okay but we will just use the default urn option for the device mailer in each environment okay and we can set this now for development environment so here you can see that this is the command line okay, so this is the command config dot action mailer the default url option so just copy this line and open your development.rb so switch to the direct project directory open development.rb okay and at the bottom of the development.rb you just need to paste this line okay now save this and you can look at other uh, setup instruction as well that uh, it is asking you to set the root url and we already implemented that so we don't need to do this and if you want to display flash messages so you can do this step but we will do this uh, flash messages step later in the course using bootstrap classes okay so now we will not use this use this and if you want to customize the device views you can use rails g device views okay but we will also do this later in the course okay now what we need to do that our device has been installed and we set up the default url option in the development.rb now we need to generate a device user model for our project okay so we can generate this with some custom argument because uh, some custom attributes because we need that okay so rails g device user okay if you run this command for now then it will only create a user model for you with device specific attributes like email encrypted passwords and all that okay but we can use this command to add our custom attributes as well okay so the rails g device user and then first name okay because we all need this last name okay and then date of birth date of birth and make this column as date okay and then username okay city state country pin code or zip code whatever you want to make but i am choosing the pin code here okay and then street address okay and then profile title and then about and make it type text okay because about could be large because user might explain something about his past experience or previous experience okay so run this command and this command you can see that has generated a user model and a device migration as well okay so now open the device migration that is created as device create users.rb okay and you can find this migration inside the db directory so open the db directory and migrate folder and here you can see device create users okay and these are all the device attributes that device add to your user model and these are the custom attributes that we added like first name last name date of birth username city state country pin code street address profile title and about okay and these are the device modules here you can see that for the other base authentication we need email and password so it is like that for recoverable we need reset password token and reset password token sent it like when the token for resetting your password when you click on the forget password has been sent okay the rememberable modules attribute and these are the trackable confirmable and lockable module attributes okay and we will need this trackable module so we will uncomment this line these attributes okay like sign in count current sign in at last sign in at current sign in ip last sign in ip because we want to check we want to track what user performs in his session and from where he last used the system and uh, from what ip or from what time zone he is using so we will need the trackable information so we will store them okay and now open the user model so go to the user model and in this user model dot rb what we need to do we need to use this trackable and uncommented okay so we can use this and we can remove it from here 
okay so these are the other modules like confirmable lockable timeoutable and omniathable you can use that as well but we will use omniathable and confirmable later in the course there are two purposes okay because right now we will only use the device sign in sign up for our project and later we will allow users to sign in through third party applications like facebook github google and so on okay and confirmable i am not using right now because i would like to show you that how we can use confirmable module with existing device users or with existing device model okay so that's why we will do this later okay and now what we need to do that uh, since we make the changes inside the device migration and we included the sorry we enabled the trackable module inside the user model so now switch to the rails eh, sorry terminal and run the rails db migrate to get this table into your database okay and you can see that the table has been created now and now you can verify this inside the schema.rb okay so here you can see that this is the user table created by our device okay so here you can see users email encrypted password and so on and all other attributes are here and we can also verify that whether device is working or not so by adding uh, by visiting the user sign in page we can see the device login form or registration form on the browser okay since we did not customize yet the device so we we can only see the default device forms for now so just run the rails server and go to the browser and here in the browser what we can uh, click so users and then sign underscore in okay and when you visit this you can see that there is the login form and uh, here you can see the sign up form okay and when you go to the login you can click on the forget your password and here you can see the forget password form as well and these are all provided by the device okay later in the course we will customize them and we will correct their styles but uh, for few coming lectures we will just use the default device view okay and that's it for this lecture in the next lecture we will generate the dummy data using faker gems so that we can have a lot of dummy users in our project to play okay meanwhile try this lecture at your end and we will meet into another lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe